What's up guys, today we're looking at a new product by Ulanzi. This is a S63 rotating plate. You may say, what is this? Well, this is gonna replace your L bracket. This rotating plate is gonna allow you to shoot horizontal and then vertical without having to do anything. You literally just turn your camera. I was sent this product a long time ago by three-legged thing and this is a L bracket, but I never did a video about it because I just didn't like it. The problem is once I mounted this to my camera, this part of the L bracket just blocked all of my ports. So if you look right here, with this three-legged thing L bracket, I can't access any of these ports. So I just never used it. If you look at this S63 rotating plate, it mounts directly to your camera and it doesn't block any ports over here on the side. My HDMI, my microphone, my USB-C, all of these cables are still free and clear with nothing blocking it. Now they are coming out with a new version of this with this built-in F38 plate on the bottom, but this was their first version. So I just mounted an F38 quick release to the bottom so I can take it off and on on my tripods very quick and easily, or even like my RS3 Pro gimbal. And when you want to shoot vertical content, you literally just turn it. So if you are a content creator, this is gonna be the easiest way to get your camera vertical. The ATOL system is the first system that came out with this. I don't know if the ATOL system is gonna have the same problem that I incurred with this one. I found one big flaw and it's really important. If you look here, this mount comes pretty far out from your lens mount. It looks very similar to the small rig rotating plate that's coming out. But the original one, which is the ATOL, it actually looks a little bit different. It looks like this little collar sits very flush and close to the body. So I would be curious to see if you have the same problem with the Atoll that I'm having with the Ulanzi, but I don't have that one, so I'm not for sure. The problem that I found is some lenses will not work with this system. If you look at this Tamron 28 to 75 version two, this part of the lens is pretty thick. And then it has this USB-C port right here to update the firmware of the lens, that bracket is gonna hit right here. If you look at the Tamron 35 to 150, it's gonna have the same problem. The way this part is made, it's gonna hit that mount. When you try to use this Tamron 2875, look at this. You can't mount it to the lens. If you look at a lens like the 24 to 105, it's made completely different on the bottom. It won't have any clearance issues. So the 24 to 105 works. My Sigma 85 1.4 lens, that works. The Tamron 35 to 150, it does not work. If you take a look at the Tamron 28 to 75 version one, it doesn't have that USB-C port to update your firmware. So this works completely fine on it. No issues. My Tamron 17 to 28 works completely fine on it. I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be getting this so you can shoot vertical content on your RS2 or RS3 Pro gimbals. Well, the problem that you're gonna have is when I mounted a plate to this to be able to put this onto my quick release system, because of the center of gravity is completely changed. When I try to balance this on my gimbal, the tilt axis, you can see I have this plate pushed all the way forward. And as far as it goes, so I actually can't achieve a good balance on this. Only way I can possibly achieve a good balance is this, is if I put something on the front of the lens to give it more weight. So now you see that this is falling forward. So if you're gonna use something like an ND filter or a matte box, this may not be a problem for you. See, now I actually have to slide it back to get a good balance. If you're not using a lens hood or an ND filter, it may be too much weight in the back. And you may not be able to slide it far enough forward enough to achieve a perfect balance. But if you put a lens hood on it or an ND filter, that should solve the problem. Now I have this balance. So I wanted to see if I can actually turn it vertically without having to rebalance it. So as you see, when you do turn it vertically, you will have to rebalance the whole entire gimbal. So in conclusion, I really like the product. I probably want to try out the Atoll to see if I'm having that problem where different lenses won't work. If you don't have the Tamron 28 to 75 version to order Tamron 35 to 150, if you are using those lenses that I mentioned, I think this is an amazing product. There are going to be certain lenses that's not going to work with this product. So you lenses, 
I'm gonna to wanna to see you guys update your website information. You need to tell us which lenses work with this system. Make sure you guys drop a comment below. Let me know if you're gonna stay with your traditional L bracket or if you're gonna to upgrade to the ATOL, the small rig or the Ulanzi rotating plate. And let me know what your thoughts is on getting this Ulanzi plate, but with it only working with certain lenses.